Any hook link can be used with a knotless knot. Here we're using 25 pound Cortex coated braid. Remove about seven centimeters of the stiff outer coating between your thumbnail and forefinger, and then double the supple inner core back on itself, tying a small overhand loop knot, as you can see. This is used to retain the bait by placing the hair stop beneath it. Thread the cortex down through the eye of the hook so that it exits from the inside as shown. The hook here is an SSBP armor point. We thread a boilie onto the hair and use that to measure the length exactly so five to ten millimeters from the bend of the hook to the top of the bait being about right. We then take around seven to eight turns down the shank of the hook using the cortex. Very very straightforward, nice inline whipping and then when that's completed pass the cortex again back so that it exits through the front of the hook eye. Pull it down nice and tight, very straightforward and reliable and very strong. The other end of the cortex is tied to the large ring part of the flexi ring swivel using a five turn grinner knot. Ease it down until the knot's formed perfectly and trim it away. It's always good advice not to trim it too close. Always leave a small tag end just as a margin for error. A carp safety bead is slid down the lead core or main line over the swivel and this carries the lead forming a very, very safe bolt rig setup. It's best to aim to have around 20 millimeters of uncoated supple braid beneath the hook eye is a pop-up version using a counterbalance weight and to show its versatility also the bottom bait version as you can see here. The knotless knot is suitable for either rig, highly effective, very basic and simple to construct. We use it and catches a lot of fish.